Hello, everybody. I'm going to be showing you how to make a sand trap. Okay. So, you're going to want to start off by placing a sand block right there. Well, anywhere, actually. And then put torches on each side, like that. And just place sand on top of that. Like that. And just keep doing that until you, like, make something big. Now, I'm not very sure how you can trigger this with redstone, but I'm sure someone can find out. Well, I'm sure I can find out too, but I'm not going to do it. I'll leave that to you, up to you guys. Okay, so just keep going. I'm just going to do one more layer. Okay, um, now this... Like when you get to the like bigger pieces, it does it does take a lot more torches? I'm not very sure how many torches it would take up to make one like this size. I think it might take around maybe 32 or something like that. Not sure. So, and it suffocates them. That's what sand trap does. So, really, how it would work? Like you're running by. And you might have a pressure plate or something, and you'd step on the pressure plate, and then it like destroy a torch, or the block, or just move the block. Then this whole thing would fall, and you'd start suffocating. But I am not very. I'm not gonna make that. I might make another tutorial on how to do that. But so to activate it, all you gotta do is just. I'll stand right here so it still falls me. All I gotta do is just break this block right here. And then boom, the whole thing falls. Oh, it plays a torch. It's a little dark. So there you have it. Sand trap. Um now I think this does work with gravel. I'm just gonna make a quick test. Um I'm not very sure if it works with gravel. It should though, because gravel has like it's like the same as sand. It has no gravity. Okay, I'm just gonna test with this little thing. Oh yeah, it works with gravel too, so. Well, bye. See you on another video. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. See ya.